hot off the presses. I had to make a video. It's late night, but Google DeepMind just dropped something absolutely insane. And it's a game changer. I feel like this is GTA 7 before GTA 6. It's called Genie 3. And it's their new world model that takes a simple text prompt and generates entire interactive 3D worlds that you could actually explore in real time. This isn't just about watching a video. You're actually in the 3D world. As you see on this bike right here, there's controls below where you could actually manipulate the world around you. You could move around. You could change the camera angle. The AI reacts and generate new frames in real time on the freaking fly. What makes this new Google Genie 3 so different is the insane consistency. But the big thing is memory. As you can see right here, painting this wall, you could actually look away and then you can go back to it moments later and the painting is still there. This is a huge leap forward because most generative models lose track of consistency over time. But as you can see here, this is absolutely next level. The memory only lasts a couple minutes. So obviously for gaming and things like that, it's going to be difficult. But the point is that this is only getting crazier and crazier. You could change the world as you see it, generate a 3D place, imagine and explore anything you want. So if you want to add, you know, a flying dragon or, you know, going through this field riding a horse, but then all of a sudden you want to make it rain, all of this can be done in actual real time. I'm blown away. I saw the Genie 2, which was more like a, um, you know, project they launched internally. They had, they kind of kept it very limited, but this is the new one. This isn't available to the public. So we're watching kind of their preview right now. But the fact that the DeepMind team is able to do this 30 frames a second, I think it's 30 or 24 frames a second, is, uh, is really incredible. So the power of gaming and all of these virtual worlds in the very, very short term is going to become so powerful that we're not going to be able to distinguish the difference. And this is from a prompt and an image to be able to actually do this. So the potential for gaming, for education. So there's only a few people in the world that actually have gotten to taste this and have been testing it. This isn't available to the general public, but it's definitely coming. But this is a massive, massive step forward where our imaginations is really the only thing that's keeping us from creating just the most insane worlds. But with this kind of technology and power and processing, the gaming, the world, the virtual worlds are going to change forever. Again, I just want to pop in, guys, to show you this because this is hot off the presses. I wish I had access to this. I'm definitely going to be writing some emails to Google tonight and hopefully getting access to this because I can't wait to try it. But I mean, this like painting example is just blowing my mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, let me know in the comment section if you get access to it. I'll give you a thousand bucks so I can play with this tool. So if you're a researcher for Google, definitely get in touch, man, because this would be so fun to go around and play with. But this is, again, my speculation on Google is they have trillions behind them. They have the resources. They have the developers. They have the technology. They have the power, the bandwidth, everything to make these kinds of things possible. And don't, don't forget, you know, DeepMind has been around for 20 plus years. So AI space is new, but they've been working on this stuff for 20 plus years. So they're coming hard. I don't think people are going to be able to keep up with Google. Plus all the consolidation is going to happen. They're going to buy up all these companies that are with the, have the hottest, newest tech. And I think as Google is going to win this whole race in the long run. So if we take a look at their website, so this is the Genie 3, a new frontier for world models. It came out August 5th, which is today. And here's some of the examples. So you start with an image prompt and then you can actually just maneuver like a game controller inside, which is a general purpose world model that can generate an unprecedented diversity of interactive environments. Yeah, 24 frames a second. That's what it is. And it can keep a consistency for a few minutes at 720p. So yeah, this is definitely a massive step forward with simulations. 
And I'm so curious to see what this extends to. Because if you look at the rest, this is a massive jump forward, right? The biggest one is obviously Game and Gen has a very, very low version of this that has a few seconds of interaction horizon. And the latency is the only one that's actually real time. None of the other ones, Genie 2 or VO, can't do any of this. So Genie 3 is such a leap forward because it can actually do multiple minutes. I mean, we're not talking about seconds here. Multiple minutes of interactive horizon and everything being in real time at 720p is a massive leap forward. So just to compare, I just want to show you the difference between the two models. I mean, just look at this. This looks like an old Atari game. And this is full 3D in landscape, in actual world environment. Yeah. Look at this. Interaction has already ended in the first couple seconds. Here's another example. This rover just floating around in space. And you can look around and see everything. So just a few of the limitations, just to kind of keep an eye on, obviously, where what, what the cutoff is, is, you know, text rendering, um, interaction duration, few minutes, which is still nuts, but obviously they want to get it to extend it into hours. So then you can actually create real-time worlds and actually play them as a game, you know. Um, so this is also another one, so real-world locations. So we can't do any of that and a few of the other things, but I'm not looking at the interaction limits. I'm looking at what this thing can actually do. And I'm just speechless. Look at this. Approach the rolling costume rack, then walk over to the painted scenario wall. This is in real time. Dang it. Let's see what their next steps are. We believe Genie 3 is a significant movement for world models where they will begin to have an impact on many areas of both AI research and generative media. So this term is actually very interesting, generative media. This doesn't exist right now. There's been demos done, but imagine we were able to do this in real time for socials, for your post, for education. I mean, it's sky's the limit with this. So Genie 3 could create new opportunities for education, training, helping students learn and expert gain experience. Not only can it provide a vast space to train agents like robots and autonomous systems. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. It can also make it possible to evaluate agents' performance and explore their weaknesses. At every step, we're exploring the implications of our work and developing it for the benefits of humanity, safety, and responsibility. So yeah, so with bots actually. So Tesla, this would be the technology they would be using, of course, to make sure those bots know how to navigate a real world. Massive update for Google. Google's running away with the, with the AI race, especially in video and now with this frontier model of 3D space. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comment section if one of you get access to this because I would love to collaborate somehow. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers.